I'm Carla Fribley. I'm the seminaries librarian for both Bethany and ESR, and I'm here to outline some of the key resources that I think you'll want to know about as you begin your time here as a student. Um, I'm going to switch over to a screen recording, but one thing you'll note, if you're ever on campus, please do come say hi. My office is located in Lilly Library. It's the just over my shoulder there, right as you enter Lilly Library. This video will outline the five most important library things you need to know as a new student. Number one, the library website. You'll probably start your research here. You can check our hours, renew your books. There's even a specific page over on the right that just has ESR and Bethany resources. The library homepage is also where you can search the library catalog, which is number two on our list of important things. The library catalog is where you can find books and more. You can pick a known item that you're looking for, or you can even just search for a topic. As you're looking through results, know that some things we own, some things we don't. You'll have faster access to things that show up as being owned by Earlham College. You'll have even faster access to things that we own online. In that case, you can look for ebooks or online articles. Right here, I can limit my result just to ebooks. Know that we actually own many, many, many more times ebooks than we do regular print books, close to a million actually. So you'll have lots of options when you're looking for e versions of things. In this case, same rule applies. You still want to make sure it's held by Earlham College. But when you find something, all you need to do is click on View eBook. And then you can either read the item online or there are options for downloading the book. And you'll be able to read the whole book right there. Number three on our list, search the ATLA database. ATLA comes to us from the American Theological Library Association. You'll find an easy link to ATLA on the ESR and Bethany Resources page. When we were searching the library catalog, we were searching a broad database covering many, many disciplines. ATLA is much more focused. It contains content that is solely related to religion and theology. It has some special features. For example, if you go to the top where they have the scriptures search, you can actually browse for content related to a specific book, chapter, or even verse of the Bible. When you're looking at results, there are a few things to note. When you see something like linked full text or PDF full text, that means you can click there and read the thing right away. You can usually download it or email it to yourself as well. In other cases, you'll see this button that says find it at EC. Basically, that's telling you that we don't have immediate access to this through ATLA, but when you click on that button, it will check to see if we might have access in a different way. In this case, it looks like we actually own a print periodical or, or print journal version of this particular journal, so that's something that you could get a paper copy of in the library. In other cases, you won't see a link like that, but your next best option would be to get it from another library, which brings us to number four, get content from other libraries. If we don't own something, we can often order it through our interlibrary loan service. This service allows you to get books, articles, films, and more from other libraries for free. You can either look for a button in whatever system you're using that says request via interlibrary loan or request via Iliad. You can also manually submit a request when you're back on the library's webpage. We have links to our interlibrary loan services in a variety of places. There you can just fill out a form to request the item you're seeking. Those will get shipped to the library in the case of books and DVDs, or if it's an article, you'll just get an email copy of it. 
sent to your inbox. Our final thing on the list, number five, ask Carla. I am here to help you. So I can help you find specific items. We can brainstorm research strategies. I can help you with your citations when you're putting together those bibliographies. I buy most of my items based on student and faculty suggestions. So please tell me if there's something that you'd like to use in the library that we don't own. I'd love to hear. You can find my contact information on the ESR and Bethany resources page. I'm available over phone, email, in person. If you see that I'm logged into chat, you're welcome to send me a message that way. I'm also, for folks that may be at a distance, I'm happy to set up a conversation over Zoom or Skype or Google Hangouts or whatever way would work best for you and your schedules. Thanks for watching everybody and I look forward to working with you.